Um, and I'm coming to you earlier than the days that I normally do these because I have some time. He's outside cleaning out his tool building thing and not sure if he's going to be um, taking off to his friend's house tomorrow um, because the friends has been like they haven't been able to get together on the, their normal schedule that they've been doing it so um, and he said he hasn't heard anything about it yet so I figured I would go ahead and do this video now um, just in case um, I'm coming to you today new Evanescent shirts um, from concert last night that I went to um, it was Evanescence and Lindsey Sterling at the PNC Music Pavilion in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it was awesome. Two thumbs up. And I just, I had a great time. He went with me. And when I say he, um, we're kind of boyfriend and girlfriend right now. Um, don't know what that means for the future. We're not putting anything in stock in it right now. We just thought it was... Um, something we would try out. So, um, he went with me. He was more into Lindsay Sterling. I've never, like, really listened to her much. Um, so I was going to see Evanescence. And I had found out last Wednesday. Okay, so check this out. Um, I had taken, they offered, they asked for volunteers. And I had taken last Monday and Tuesday off. Okay. Go back Wednesday to find out that the whole the whole department or the whole plant, whatever, was gonna be off Thursday and Friday. And so got one day of work in <laughs> last week. And so when I found out Wednesday that I was gonna be off Thursday and Friday, Friday being when the concert was he, um, he suggested, you know, well, since you're going to be off from Friday, you know, we want to see if we can still get tickets for the concert. And I said, sure. So, there were still plenty of tickets available, and I was shocked. But, um, we did manage to get tickets, um, not, like, in the main section area, like, in the main roundabout, but it was kind of on a, um, like, the next deck up. And then after that is where you have all the lawn. And so we had seats. And I felt kind of guilty for me going to see this. And my son wouldn't have been able to go see it. So I bought my son a ticket. Um, but he's paying me back next week. <laughs> he, he said um, he didn't get paid until next week. So I said, okay, just make sure that you get pay me back for this ticket. Which is more expensive than ours. Um, just make sure you pay me back next week when you get paid. So he said, sure. Um, and he had a blast. So I think he was there more for Lindsay Sterling as well. But he's, he's also a fan of Evanescence too. Um, so I have a lot to talk about this week. I have a lot of whips to go over with you. Um, if you don't remember, I have been trying a new, um, rotation yeah um it's going iffy like I'm trying to stick to the rotating of whips the rotating of the projects every Monday to do Monday through Friday problem is if I'm not if I'm just kind of not into a project then I might work on it one day there's a couple there's like couple in here that I only worked on one day because that's, that's, all, that's all I was feeling even though I kept it open for the whole five days um and there was also during those times when I there was a day or two where I actually didn't stitch at all on anything so I have a little bit of haul to show you um not a two not a total ton just a little bit um, so I guess we're just going to get started. I'm using, rather than go and buy a 
big planner or calendar. I'm just using this, um, which can be found. It's a, a free printout file that you can find in the um, Stitch Mania group in their files. Um, but I am what I'm doing is I'm writing my my weekly projects and then my weekend projects, my bigger ones down here. So this is where I'm, um, the, the five days that I have my weekly projects, Monday through Friday, and then down here will be my, my larger projects that I'm working on for that, that weekend. As you can see from the check marks, these, these are, I, I check mark all the days that I actually work on them. Um, as you can see from the check marks, sometimes I don't work on what I'm supposed to be working on. But, I'll get into that later. Uh, the first project, so I'm going to be referring back to that sheet. And I'm going to try to do these in order. The first project that came up on July 1st, 2nd, something like that, was the, um, and I think I mentioned it in my last video because it was about, it was about to come up, um, was the Fractor Pattern. Fractor pattern from the old um, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. It's the January, February 91 issue. a short, really short piece of really short piece of floss that I wasn't really done with. Anyway. Um, so this is what I got done in the couple of days that I did work on it. Last time you saw this um, I only had the green like where the leaves are right here. I only have the green done. Um, and those times that I worked on it, which was a couple of days, um, I obviously did all the yellows in there. I cannot see. It's a crap. But that's where I went. And you can kind of see the outline of the birds and then the, the pod underneath. It's starting to take shape. Um, I apologize, the lighting is not great in here. I changed locations because I felt like maybe you guys didn't want to see all the mess that was behind me in my previous videos. Um, which isn't really a mess, it just looks that way. Because there's, like, renovations and stuff going on. And this is being done on 32 count linen in Rosalind by Under the Sea Fabrics. Gorgeous mottled purple. I love this fabric. It's my favorite one. Um, that weekend, my paper only shows that I worked on this one day. I may have worked on it like a little tiny bit, like another day. Um, that weekend, I decided to try and pull out my Simply Meant to Be by Heaven and Earth. Show you what this is. Um, the artwork, artwork is by Sheree Gerhardt. I got a good chunk done. I'm glad I pulled this out. Got that corner done right there. Mm -hmm. Last time you saw this, I think I only had a few rows up here done. I mean, I had this bit 
corner right here, um, which wasn't even a full 10 by 10 block. It was like a diagonal of a 10 by 10 block. Um, and then I had a few rows up here done, I think. But I got that diagonal done and I started on the next one. I'm so happy with myself. I can't even express how happy I am for getting that diagonal done. And that's just the 25 count um, magic guide. Which, I mean, under two fabrics, not under two fabrics. Um, Heaven and Earth sells it, or you can find it on like one, two, three stitch. Um, then the following week, from the 9th, technically the 9th through the 13th, but I think I may have stitched a few, few stitches on this on the 14th as well. Um, I pulled out, uh, Fractor Flowers was next in line for the rotation by Lottie Da. That's Fractor and Fractor Flowers, yeah. Obviously, I'm doing these in alphabetical order. Um, dang, I forgot to put my phone in here. I'm trying to remember where I was. Okay, you see this? This is a lot done since the last time you saw it. Um, the last time you saw this, I only had that dark green done right there in that leaf. Yep, that's it. Um, hold on. I'm not digging this at all. Yeah, we're going to use a package for the time being. Um, last time you saw this, I only had that dark green done, um, and I've done everything else. Yeah. This was actually really fun to work on, believe it or not. Let me get closer. Yeah. Um, I really like this. I really do. Um, I can't remember. I think this is being done on a... 32 count. It's called um, Stormy Skies, I think, by Zweigart. So, and I mean, I have the I have the fabric cut size, so it's not going to be very big. Um, this is one of those um, printed fabrics. You can see the model. I don't know if you can see the modeling right there. See the modeling? See no modeling? Yeah, it's only on one side. And then that weekend. And that weekend. Um, I actually worked on Fractor Flowers on that Saturday, so my next piece I only got one one day on, I think. Yeah. Um, the so next thing I only got one day on, and it's still in the queue snap because I still want to try to work on it. Uh, maybe not this weekend, but maybe next weekend. And that is my... Shailene, Taj Mahal Mandala, which I am doing on a 32 count flash by Picture This Plus. And like I said, it's still on the Q snap. So that's my progress. Um. Last you saw, I only had like some of the white stitches here in the middle, like not even, not even all the way around, but like on one side maybe. Um, and then that's what I got done in that one day. So it's getting there. But, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I really actually had fun on this. And there are so many. That's like four threads right there. Four different threads. So, lots of different color changes in that one. Um... Not broken. I'll put this there. Um, this past week, I was supposed to bring out something else, but it was one of those weeks where I worked on it for one day and didn't touch it for the rest of the week. And that is the Fruit Bell Pool by Teresa Wensler. I'm doing this on the included kit fabric with kit threads. Um, and the kit came with a um, 28 count even weave. So, didn't get a lot done on this on that one day that I worked on it. Um, I only worked some more on the green. I think I only had like a little bit of the green up here done. And I worked the rest of it. Over here. That's it. I kept trying to go back to it, but I just couldn't. I worked on this on Monday, and then I think the like next like two days or something like two or three days, I didn't feel like stitching at all. So, yeah. At least I got one day on it done. That's that. Right. Hmm. <sighs> In the whip, then it goes. So that's my existing whips that I had to do. I did have a new start because I'm still doing my 40 turning 40 starts this year. Which, if you're new to my channel, I think I've had a couple of new subscribers. Um, I turned 40 earlier this year, so throughout the year, I'm starting whips, and I'm going to be doing 40 total starts for the entire year, um, and some months I'm doing more than one start, some months I'm only doing one start, um, kind of as for the year of starts. Which is supposed to be on the 18th of the month. I was a day late on this one. I didn't start this until Thursday. Um, and I guess I should probably show you what it is first. It is Smith Sampler by the Scarlet House. This was supposed to be June start. But I didn't have the threads for it yet. But I have the threads for it. I'm actually waiting on the two Glorianas to come. Um, I've already ordered them and paid for them. At the stitching frame, and I'm just waiting for them to come in. So, because it takes um, classic color works, Belle Swa, Inky Dyes, and Gloriana. So, this is what I got done. I got the bird, or most of a bird done. He does have a tail down there. I don't know if you can see that. He has a tail. That's what I got done. Um, in case you're wondering, the green, I have a preference now, the green, and then this kind of off-white right here, this is the Belle Swa from Classic Color Works. They are silks. They're supposed to be silks. Um, these, the red right here, and this kind of mustardy color, I don't know if you can see that, those are the dinky dyes. I prefer the classic color works Belle Swa over Dinky Dyes. Just putting that out there. I feel like the classic the, the Belle Swa silks, um like they're fluffier. The Dinky Dyes is a lot more silkier and thinner. Um, but the Belle Swa is like fluffier and thicker. I don't know how that is. Technically I think they should be the same type of silk, shouldn't they? But there's a difference in them. You can feel it and you can see it. I can't say the same about Gloriana because I haven't seen what theirs look like yet. So, But these I'm actually dividing up 
by the Colossal Way bags. Because with the dinky dyes, with, uh, what I do when I use dye floss, um, haven't used that one yet. Um, like for example, with the classic color works. This is one of the greens, that, the green, like the bird's head, that's what that is. What I do is, um, I will undo this, take off what I need, and then loop it back on there. And then whatever I don't use, like say I only need a strand or two or whatever, um, I will put the remainder of that length on the top loop. Well, the thing about dinky dies is they only have one very tiny hole in the corner of their tag so there's no way for me to do that now one of them I did open up the hole a little bit um, so that I could put the floss back in there where did it go take that back that well oh yeah that's the brownish color white it's the red that one is yeah like this red one this is an example I did put the green one back in there but I still don't have a way to put the remainder of a length on there I'll show you the other green one that I did Like this one, they, the way Dinky Dice does it, they they tie the ends of their, what do you call it, where it's twisted. They tie the ends of it together and then tie it around this tiny hole. Well, this one, I've, I've opened that hole up a little bit more so I could fit this the rest of that floss in there, um, which by the way, I have cut into um, working lengths. And I don't have anything else to do with this. So I have not only the rest of that length that I cut off, but I still have a little bit of that one strand that I pulled off. So therefore, Therefore, I'm using false way bags. And again, these are just floss way bags that I got from Hobby Lobby. This ring right here came in a pack of 12 at Hobby Lobby. They were in the um, photograph, uh, photo album section. So I have false way bags, I have rings, so why not? And I already have the, the two extra bags on there for when my Gloriana's get here. Um, so yeah, that's what I started. That's what I've done this week as far as stitching. Um, as far as stuff goes, I've gotten a little bit. I know I just said, sorry, let me switch my legs up here. I know I just said in my last video that I was going to have to cut back on spending. I tried. Didn't work. So, I have some stuff. I will start with... Remember a couple of weeks ago when Mirabilia re-released their patterns? Well, I wanted a couple. Strangely enough, I wanted a couple. And I may have gotten some. I didn't get them both from the same place, but I may have gotten some. Um, I wanted to get uh, the ones that I saw that I liked were uh, Fairy Moon. I think that was the name of it. Is it Fairy Moon? Not giving any information. Yeah. Fairy Moon, and 
course, Lady of the Flag. Now, Lady of the Flag, I really had no interest in until I saw somebody stitch it on a fabric by Fabric Flare, which um, they have two different options. One has the preamble, the, consti the, the Constitution. I suck at American history, you guys. Um, and the other one has the Pledge of Allegiance, I, I think. I don't remember. Um, but I saw this and I'm like, oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I, I need to get Lady of the Flag. Um, and then Fairy Moon was really pretty too. So, I put my name in in several different places to be able to purchase one. Well, I put my name in... One of the places that I put my name in was for um, Trisha at 3 All Threads. I, I put my name in on the 3 All Threads Facebook page um, for both of these. For um, Fairy Moon, Fairy Moon with embellishments, um, and Lady of the Flag. And I think, I don't know if she had the option for Lady of the Flag with embellishments or not. I don't remember. Um, but I do know I put my name in both Fairy Moon and Fairy Moon with embellishments and Lady of the Flag. Um, I didn't get Lady of the Flag, but I did actually win. I say win. I, I won the chance to, to buy, um, I won a slot to buy the, um, Fairy Moon with embellishments. So, not only do I have Miss Fairy Moon, I also have her bead back. Okay. So, that was exciting. And I can look at the pattern and see where each of these is, because there's three, three packs of this bluish color. Gotta be in her wings. Gotta be. And then there's two packs of that kind of purplish um, lavender color, periwinkle color. And then two packs of the, the clear. And then one of this brownish one. Um, yeah. Don't know when I'll start that. Presumably after I've found the fabric. But, I didn't win Lady of the Flag from Trisha, or I didn't win a spot to purchase Lady of the Flag from Trisha, um, but my good buddy Molly Peckham did. I'm, I was a little bit jealous of her for getting that opportunity to, to be able to get Lady of the Flag, but I'm good, I'm good. Um, I heard tales that you could purchase them on eBay. So just one day, I mean, I wasn't really thinking that hard about it that day. I just happened to get on eBay and I was looking, um, I decided to do a search for Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia. And I came across one, well, I came across several. There's still that one on eBay for $750. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Um, but this one, I found this one. It is the reprint. Um, and you can tell it's the reprint because it has 2018 on it somewhere. Oh, yeah. It has the seal on there. It says 1995, 1993 to 2018, 25 years. That's, you can tell that's the reprint. Um, so, yeah. This is the genuine... Genuine article reprint um, that I got from a place on eBay. I think they may have a shop or something. But this is genuine, unopened. Has the picture. It has the picture. Yeah. Got that. $20 plus like two something shipping. It can be found, people. That's a good thing. I mean, even though there's still people that are selling them for 30, 40 bucks, you know, I don't know. It's like, would you rather try to pay 
you know, $100, $150 or more for a genuine original release. But I'm good with this one. So. Another case of... I didn't want to do a mirabilia pattern until I saw it on, on until I saw a fabric. So Um the other thing I got which I probably shouldn't have bought um Silks for You was doing like Sample packs. I don't remember what they called them. They're essentially like little sample packs of their work. And I'll show you what I got. Mm. The silks, the silks. And they don't have the names on them. So I don't know what they're called. Um, and of course, the colors are going to look shitty in here. Um, I'm going to try my best. This is what I got. It's their regular skeins. This teal right here, I'm absolutely in love with. I, I absolutely love it. And they're... They're coming across lighter than they are. This is a kind of a periwinkly purple color. It's a lot darker than it's showing. But yeah, I got that. I just hate that I there's no like no names on them. I always like to know names. Ah, just put the name back in there. And then they sent these. This was I love this one. This one is absolutely like everything. I believe this is a quarter hank, if I'm not mistaken. This is this is phenomenal. Um, and then I think they sent uh, another like a half hank. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful blue color. And then more silks. This is a gray color. It's a dark gray. That's so pretty, though. So, these are, like... So, there's that. And I love these little, little baggies I sent them in. Those are fun. Um... So that was money that I probably shouldn't have spent. But I did. Yeah. Um, and then finally, also on eBay, I found a, I saw a pattern that I just couldn't say no to. Mosey and me, Noah and crew, and I'm not usually big on Noah's arc stuff. But look at it! Look at it! How you got the Noah surfing behind the ark, the cat hanging off the giraffe? Come on. Really? Really? Why you make me buy such stuff? That's just absolutely freaking adorable. I just can't even with this piece. I can't even. I can't even. Stupid adorable. Um, and then... That's all the stuff that I actually, like, new-ish stuff that I bought. Um, I was in jerk. Went, when I went to Stitch and Frame, I always want to try to go buy Joanne while I'm up there. Even though it's still a good, like, ten minutes away from there. And I got a bunch of, um, Krennics from the clearance bins. 
all these cranks from the clearance bins. But wait, there's more. More cranks. Um, I think most of these are 032. Uh, this one. Most of these are number four grade 032. Yeah, I got four um, 032s. One, uh, one eight braid in 001, and two number four braid in 002. The gold. So, you can check your Joanne clearance bins if you want. I mean, this has been a good, like a week ago or so. Sorry. The dog does this weird thing where he'll step down from one thing to another and then use that opportunity to stretch. And he was doing that. He was he was on the bed and then he, he went got down onto the ottoman um to get down and he was stretching and he just kinda lifted that leg that back leg just kinda went back. <laughs> um that's all the stuff stuff that I got. Um I was at the flea market. Well, take that back. Backtrack. I ordered some bobbins because I'm going to try to go back to using my bobbinated floss in boxes. And I ordered a bunch from uh, AliExpress, but they're still not here yet. Um, but I think they're supposed to be coming this week. That's what the tracking says. We'll see. Um, and so they were taking too long. So I ordered some from Amazon. I ordered like a small 180 piece from Amazon. I ordered like 600 pieces from AliExpress. Um, and I do like these. Uh, I brought one of them in to show you. These are little plastic bobbins. Um, these are from D&D. &D. Not the shop name. These are the bobbin brand. D&D. Um, &D. And they have the actual like really narrow slits. Um, the ones that I had before, I hated those things so much. I left them in Georgia when I left um, because they had the big wide slots on the bottom. These have narrow slot, the narrow slits in them that actually hold the thread. So I do like these a lot. Um, I have multiple bags of floss that I need to bobbinate. So I've just been kind of working on them like at night when I want to still do something stitchy, but I can't stitch because of lighting. So I've been bobbinating. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys about those. Um, you can find them on AliExpress or Amazon. Um, they usually come with like a certain amount plus a bobbin winder. Um, the one I got from Amazon, it came with 180 of these plus the bobbin winder, which is squeaky is really squeaky um so i'm not even using it the one that i got from aliexpress um there was actually i actually bought two um two orders of 300 plus a bobbin winder so i'm i have 600 bobbins plus two winders coming from aliexpress and when i checked the tracking on it i think yesterday it still hadn't left it was still saying um, left sorting facility or whatever it says. So, but I still have these. I have plenty of these still. So, there's that. And finally, because my video, I feel like it's carrying on. I was at a flea market one day. And I found a box. I found this box on a table. And it's a pretty simple box. It just, it has like a little groove in right there that you lift it up. And there's nothing wrong with it per se. I do like that it flips all the way back. Um, but not loving this. It's a little juvenile to me. Um, but I am going to sand this down and refinish it. 
and probably maybe paint it white. Um, but like uh, rust, rough it up a little bit anyway. Um, and then find a cross stitch to put in there. I don't have anything in mind yet. And I don't think I have anything in my current finishes that will fit in here. I'd rather have something that goes like landscape like this instead of like that. But another project. Oh my gosh, I forgot about something. I gotta go, I gotta pause y'all and go get that, or get those. But yeah. Um, another project for me to finish. So just be aware of, you know, don't pass anything up. I really like this box and I just like that it. it's open. It's just a box. It does have like a felt lining inside of it. I'm probably going to tear that out. Um, but just a simple box. Like that. Something for me to refinish. I want to probably do that. I'm going to try to do it before the end of the year. I suck at getting to my intended projects. Um, there's a couple things that I forgot. I'm going to pause y'all and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And this is Timmy. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't like, like, oh, hush. Hush. Quit being an asshole. He doesn't like being, like, manipulated into, like, sitting a certain way or being held down or anything. This is Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Hi. Yeah. This is actually his dog. He's about three, I think. I think he said he's had him about three years since he was a puppy. So, you gonna do the rest of the video with me? I came back in here and sat on the bed and he had to come in. Okay, go ahead. Oh, hush. Hit me in a butthole. Go. Anyway. Um, so, what I forgot, when I did go to Goodwill, when there's my mom, and it was a Goodwill that I had never been to before, so I did find a couple of gems. Um, another thing that I can use to um, refinish. I don't like that whole stay a while thing in there. So look, it's a mirror. You can see yourself. <laughs> I don't like that whole stay a while thing in there. Um, so that's going to come out. And I'm probably just going to use the frame for something. Maybe, maybe not. Um, they've got it where this mirror, this glass part is just held in by these little tabs. So I may need may need the glass to back whatever it is I plan to put in there. Sorry, dog just laid down right behind you. Um, so that will be another project. And then I also found another frame. I just thought this one was the coolest. This thing is heavy. I just thought this was the coolest frame. Like, seriously. I can I can see putting something subversive in this. Just because it's so ornate and so pretty and then put something subversive in there. Like saying, fuck you. Or something like that. Um, yeah. I just thought that was a cool frame. I don't plan on doing anything with this. I just thought it was really cool. Um, and then, let's put this back in the big bag. And then, the cool stuff, found this at the Goodwill. Cute little kit. Even comes with the yellow frame. 
will I be using the yellow frame? Probably not as is. May paint it a different color, like maybe that blue color or something. I just prefer, I, I'm not crazy about yellow. Um, and I know this is supposed to be like an anniversary, but what's wrong with just stitching the two hearts and the thing and what's wrong with just stitching that? Hmm? So maybe one day if I need a quick project or something. And then a piece de la resistance. I saved a cross stitch. Saved a cross stitch. Um, I actually saw one at the flea market too, but I didn't like it. So this one was actually kind of pretty. Um, friends are the flowers of life. And this is an actual genuine cross stitch. See that? See that? It's a genuine cross stitch. And I can tell it's a cross stitch and that it was framed professionally by a shop because it has the frame shop sticker on the back. And it's a sticker from a shop locally in the city where I found this at. So I think that's pretty cool. Initially I was like, maybe I should, you know, redo the frame or something. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Because they did a really good job on this. I'm going to have to look this place up and and see if they're still around. Because this looks like it may have been done a while back. I just thought that's really pretty. It looks like it was done just on a white, maybe a 16 count Ada. Because you can see, like, it's, the, the stitches are small, but you can still see, like, where it's an X. So I'm thinking it was probably a 16 count Ada. So, isn't that really pretty, though? But that was my finds for the last few weeks. Um, I've been trying to get back and do a video for you guys for like a couple of weeks now. Um, but just haven't been able to get him out of the house. And I have, I have to tell him, like, it's, it's not that I have an issue with him. It's just I have an issue with people hearing me do my videos. Because I'm just, I'm self-conscious like that. I don't want to have anybody having to hear me talk about cross-stitch the way we do. Like, we're obsessed. So, yeah. Um, but that's going to be it for today. Um, I think. I think. I feel like I have some new new watches but I can't look them up right now because this thing will automatically stop if I go out of it and I don't want to stop and I don't feel like pausing to get back up and go back in there and get my phone so it's just gonna have to wait till next time sorry um so yeah so I guess that is gonna be it for me today and hopefully this particular video, my background won't offend, offend anybody. Just a blank wall. And look, there's a curtain and a pillow. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I will try to be back as soon as I can. Um, now that I'm getting kind of on a more regular-ish stitching schedule, um... I will try to return as soon as I can, I promise. But, you know what I say. Um, get lots of stitching in. Have a blessed week. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.